Hi, I'm Toden, and yeah, I don't have my crazy hair today because I'm wearing a beanie, but this beanie was sent to me by Casco. It's called Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth microphones and headphones on it, and this is my first Famebit review, so thumbs up for that. And I gotta tell you, this beanie is really warm. This is August, and I wore this Monday through Friday for about two to three hours every morning, uh, when I'm at work and I'm walking a lot. I walk a lot at work. And this is August, so I gotta tell you, this was very warm. I could completely wear this in the winter time. It's, it's perfect for the winter, perfect for the fall, very warm. I'm one of those people that I'm actually really picky about my beanies because once I get warm, my forehead, you usually, you know, the material will leave an imprint on my forehead. It gets irritated i want to scratch it. i just want to rip the beanie off whatever very little of that this this passed my test so i can wear this beanie i'm not just saying that i really can wear this beanie it doesn't bother me i have a ton of beanies that i just give away because i can't wear like that uh the style i think it's very fashionable it's something that's very in right now one of the few times i'm happy i don't have a girlfriend because if i did she'd probably steal this from me so i Maybe that's cool, I don't know, but I like the style. Let's talk about the headphones and the microphone and actually what comes in the box. So obviously the beanie comes in the box and the instructions, it tells you how to wash this. Like I said, it's a beanie, you get warm, you sweat in it. It's really cool. It's very easy to take out the headphones and the microphone so you can just pop those out and wash them. It's very accessible, very easy. I've already done it, so, and it still works. And it tells you how to use it, you know, your instruction booklet. And it comes with a charger. Now, I didn't have to charge this until maybe using for five to six hours. So it's a good charge. And that's also me messing around, pairing it with a ton of stuff. So I probably use more power than most people in that time because I've paired this with about four or five different devices. Not only does this pair with every cell phone I tried this with, but it paired with several computers. It doesn't pair with this desktop behind me. It is an older model, but paired with newer you know, desktops and laptops. That's really cool. So I can just sit at a computer if it's cold or if I'm out, you know, whatever device I'm using, if it's up to date, more than likely you can pair this with it and listen to it. And the audio is amazing. I really think I could watch YouTube videos. In fact, I have watched YouTube videos and stuff wearing this. It sounds absolutely amazing. It's great. Um, works with most apps. Now, this beanie, it has three controls on the side. Well, technically five controls. Uh, play, start, which also if you hold it in, it turns on, turns off. The voice for turning on, turn off, it always seems louder than what should be. And there's also a noise. I would love if they changed that noise, especially if it doesn't pair. It, uh, the noise it plays when it doesn't pair with the device, it's loud, it's screechy. It's not something you want on your ears. Um, and it just seems like whenever the voice or noises come on, they're louder than when they need to be. Maybe that's a nitpick. Uh, but I'm glad they're there. I'm glad that there's stuff there. The forward and backwards tracks um, are also your volumes up and down. So sometimes when you just want to turn the volume up or down, if you don't hold it the right way, if you don't hold it long enough, it will skip, which is fine if you're listening to a playlist. But if you're listening to Pandora, you can't go back. So, I mean, there's pluses and minus depending on what app you're using. Obviously, they can't, you know, it's not the same programming for every single app, meaning it just might not work with every single app the same way because all the apps are different. Uh, but it works with most of them. Um, you know, I could usually stop most of if I'm listening to a radio station uh, through one of the apps I use, I can't stop the radio station, but I can turn it down. I mean, it's a radio station. You can't pause a radio station anyway. So to me, that makes sense. 
when it comes to cell phones, this is on the cell phone. This is not on the hat because if you know most cell phones that I know of, I haven't met a cell phone that I can do this with yet. Um, pairing Bluetooth, I can't use it when I'm recording video. I would love to record a video and use the microphone on my Bluetooth for audio. Instead, if you're going to use a microphone, it has to be wired. So that is still a bummer. But you can use it talking on the phone, which I assume most people will use it for that purpose. I mean, there are plenty of Bluetooth devices out there. But the fact that the Bluetooth device can also play music and as, as a mic, to me, that's still pretty new. I know there's a couple of devices out there now, but that's really cool. So let's talk about that because I do have one test I've been wanting to do. I want to know how it sounds when you record, you know, whenever you're talking to someone on, on a cell phone, it's already, it's already distorted. So let's compare that. Let's compare me talking on a cell phone, me talking on a cell phone using the microphone that comes with a cell phone, and then with this. Let's see what big differences there are. Now, I already have this hooked up through my computer. I'm talking through Google Voice. I'm recording on Adobe Audition. So I'm gonna go ahead and unmute the cell phone. Well, before I do that, let's go ahead and let's hit record here. Let's unmute the cell phone. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go ahead and sync it up. And now I'm using my cell phone. So this is how it normally sounds when you're just talking on your cell phone. Hi, I'm Toden. How are you? Would you like to go on a date tonight? Oh, well, that sucks. All right, so now let's go ahead and plug in. Which, in this case, are earbuds. I hate earbuds. I don't like earbuds. This is the way you'd be wearing it, I assume. And you got that pesky wire, which sometimes it works, but for me, I'm constantly moving around. This does get caught on things. It is annoying. Um, it totally makes sense in some purposes. But for this test, that's how this works. Let's try something else now. Let's go ahead and un earbuds out. I don't like earbuds. This on. Let me turn this on. Power is on. Let me go to settings here. Make sure I'm paired up with it. And now I'm using the hat, I believe. It says I'm connected, so let me go ahead and tap it. Compare the cell phone. Okay, so I'm using the hat now. So this is how the hat sounds on a cell phone. Now, you're probably listening to this, you know, the same time I'm listening to this. Well, I have not listened to this yet. That's what I mean. So I cannot critique that. But for when I'm told, when I'm talking to people, it sounds like you're using a Bluetooth device. Can you use this for recording? I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't use any Bluetooth device on a cell phone for recording. That's why they make microphones for phones. You know, so when you're recording, I'd rather get something meant for that. But it would be awesome to be able to record them. You know, if you're recording a movie on your cell phone, if you're doing a blog and you don't have a microphone, it would be cool to have that option to go ahead and, you know, just use your Bluetooth microphone. That would be really, really cool. So let me know what you think. I really like this. Let me talk about one more thing. There are several different colors and designs about this. Um, I picked this one because I really like purple. But this isn't called purple. This is, uh, well, first, it's the slouchy style. And most of their hats are this style. I believe if you pick the color black, you have the choice to get that little extra up here or for it just to be a black beanie. Uh, but for all the other colors, um, it just comes like this. I mean, there's obviously just a plain black, plain white, and there's a couple other colors there too. This one is actually brown. Now, to me, I look at it, I think purple because of these. So 
When you look at the styles, this does look like what it does in the picture. So that's pretty cool, except for I wish they called it something else and not brown, because I'm thinking, great, does that purple really brown? And even the background, to me, it doesn't look brown, but maybe that's just me. So let me know what you think in the comments. If this helps at all, share, rate, subscribe, check out the rest of this channel. I'm mostly known for microphone comparisons and event videos, so please check those out. And I gotta tell you, I love this hat. I'm totally wearing it in the winter time, you know. <laughs> and I probably look schizophrenic when I'm talking on the phone with this thing. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Comment, rate, subscribe.